Okay, so um, I never really thought about making a video, but um, I mean, I've made videos, but I never thought making a video for somebody who has questions. And one of the questions I got is how I am healing so quick and able to move and I'm getting mobility back. Um, it, I'm still having pain, dude. I'm not on any pain pills, just Tylenol 3 and uh, the, the occasion, occasional volume at night when I just need to go to sleep and my muscles are tense. I take a nice hot pack or I have my electric heating blanket. I put it over my neck and my shoulder area and I crank that thing up to like four or five and just relax into it. And then we'll turn it down right before I go to sleep so I don't roast. But um, it is summer, it is hot, this is hot. But I'm finally in the soft collar. I had my surgery on uh, May 7th and it is now June 11th. Um, so this is the very first day of my fifth week. What I have been doing, and I, someone asked me, well, how, how did you get to where you are now able to move and you know, not so tense and it doesn't hurt and you have more mobility in your neck? What have I been doing? Well, I will run you through a quick video on what I've been doing, starting with um, my exercise ball back here. Whenever I am watching TV, I do sit on the couch, but I have been trying to sit on the exercise ball and watch TV and just not bounce heavy, but just like get a little bit of movement, a little bit of, you know, lymphatic fluid moving because you can't really jump and you're off balance because your head is like this in the hard collar. This you can't really do until after you get out of that hard collar. If you do do it in the hard collar, I would just say sit on it. Occasionally do your, your waist. I wouldn't try anything crazy like going down the back because then if the ball slips up to your neck, that's going to hurt. Um, other things that kind of help, but you can't do it until after, I would say at least a month, is not stretching your neck down, but just stretching your shoulder blades out. That really helps. Or taking the ball and putting it against something like the back of the couch or wherever you plan to watch TV and just kind of relax into it and out. And that really helps relax those muscles without the strenuous activity of some yoga poses. I did find, um, a, it's called Namastasi. And it's a busy mom yoga. And that one, I would definitely wait on, but some of the poses like your, um, your cat and your cow are really good. I wouldn't get all into any of these things where you're using a lot of upper arm strength right away especially not within your first two weeks i'd say give it at least a month before you do that um but i just did very basic lay down stretch you know just trying to stretch out those muscles another thing is your hamstrings because you haven't been going down and you haven't been able to go down with the neck um just stretching through your through your calves through the back of your legs making sure those aren't getting too tight. You might not be able to go down all the way, but that's okay. You know, open your legs and try and do one of these. If you can't do that up yet, because that sometimes aggravates it, just go down like that, or just down with each hand on each side of your knee and just kind of do that a little bit. It helps stretch out the back. And then once you're sitting there and you're nice and relaxed, just take your shoulder blades and rotate them back. And then rotate them forward. If you can't do the rotations yet, which I couldn't do the rotations right away, it just hurts so bad, um, then just stick with your shoulder shrugs. And the other thing that helps and I used my big hoop. I did have to go back to my very big hoop again because I just really couldn't do much. And just do your side to side like that. And that helps to, and then if you want, do a little shoulder shrug. Um, 
try and bring your arms up within the first two weeks. I like by week two, you should be able to do this no problem. It's the hair up that's going to be the problem because that's going to hurt a lot through here. So if you can't do going just isolation up and isolation down right away, don't push it too fast. Wait until week three. Um, I think somewhere between week two and week three, I started the isolation up and down. Just, and I, there were days I could only go here and back down or here and back down. Because once you start to feel that pain and you're getting that ache, just stop because it will increase through the night and you'll want pain medicine if you're taking pain medicine. Me, I just then kind of I'm just suffering through it and using Tylenol, Tylenol 3 and the volume to sleep um, lots of water but once you get to that point and you can do that and you can go down then you can try because you can't waste tube with the neck brace because that really doesn't take a lot of neck movement or upper body do not plan on bringing that hoop up because once you get to here you, you don't want to try and chest hoop because just that movement will kill your neck and your shoulder blades and your shoulders, whatever you had surgery on. Um, I had the front and the back, so that's where I am. Um, but once you get that down, you could just stand in front of the TV and waist hoop. Try and do just some regular arm poses and see how that feels with no weight at all, no resistance, no hoops, just see how the stretches make you feel because you want to keep this moving and i would say i don't do a ton i might have a flow session once a day for maybe uh, 15 minutes then a half hour then you work your way up to maybe towards the end of the week maybe you can do that half hour or hour but then you can start to, without jostling or moving your neck, just doing basic stuff. Um, you're just going up and around. I would not suggest any of, yeah, it's kind of hard with the big hoop. I wouldn't suggest, yeah, I can't do it with this hoop. Um, I wouldn't suggest, this is a 34 inch by the way, that one's like a 38, 39. But I wouldn't suggest any of these or any of the going up and around until you're ready. Now I'm in five weeks now. This is the very beginning. I just finished week four. Um, so this is the very beginning of week five. Other things that you can do I would say around week two, week three, definitely by week four is at first I just started with what I showed you, you know, the basic back and forth, try, try to do the ISO up and down, maybe a, a hand spin or a weave. And because it's, you're not going to have that where your hands want to go together because that's going to kill you. Bigger hoop helps with that because you can have your hands farther apart. when you're doing it. I have no room in my house. Um, try this one. This is just the Mood Hoop Poly Pro. Real lightweight, 36 inches now, roundabout. Let's see, this is the Mood Hoop, the LED. And it's HDP, so it's a little heavier, a little bit more weight. And that's a 36, so this is 38. Oh, I don't have this buckled in. That's, that might be why. There we go. So we got 38, probably 37, because I took a little bit off of this one, and a 36. But once you, once you start doing your hand spins, like if you're just sitting in the living room and you're just doing your hand spins, I would suggest... Definitely not a larger hoop or HDPE. Um, 
This is really good for just regular hooping, either of these two. This one's great for weaves, stuff like that. I really have liked the, the lightness of this one. This has become my best friend, the, the Raspberry Poly Pro Mood Hoop, because it's it's lightweight, so it's okay, hitting my skirt. Um, it's easier to, not my living room, it's easier to do that kind of stuff outside in the backyard on the deck. When I'm in the house, I'm usually confined to these unless I'm waist tubing. These are the Autumn Flow 28 inch. I don't remember what the name of them are, but they're very pretty and in uh, camera light, they glow purple. It's just the reflective tape on them, but they look really pretty in the daytime in the sunlight as well. But when you start getting bored, I guess this is what I was doing for all of week three on the hands, in, reverse, grab your hoop, try and go the opposite direction. Grab your hoop, opposite direction. And then I got bored with that and I figured, okay, well I know I can do a weave. Let's try and incorporate a weave into this. So I was incorporating a weave into it. And then I said, well, what I do on my right, I have to do on my left. So incorporate a weave into that. And just that motion is, it almost loosens that up. Now, if you start feeling super tight and you get the tension in between the shoulder blades coming up to the, once it comes to the neck and you're just like, oh my God, stop right there, relax. You had enough for the day. Go get an ice pack, a hot pack, whatever's gonna help you, and just alcohol your little thing and put some Neosporin or coconut oil or whatever you use on it and lay back and relax. You had enough at least for the next couple of hours and then come back to it. But when you get bored of spinning two hoops and you really can't do much with them, you can try doing a weave with each one and then maybe spin one on the thumb and bring it back spin one on the thumb and bring it back try split timing if you get real tired just stop and relax and then Maybe after doing a couple of weaves, you're tired and you don't want to do any more. So this is going to be a little hard in the house, but you can always, you know, get into your two beat weaves and then maybe start practicing on your three beat weaves and coming out of that and bringing your hoop in. And then maybe bring this other hoop under, get it going on one hand. And or switch hands and get them going. And practice, yeah, I'm not that great at it, but we're practicing it. needs to go down farther on my arm um, the 28 inches are going to be your best friend for like the first couple of weeks if you're doing any of this you are not going to want a heavy hoop um, I love these autumn flow ones for that plus I can use them in my house and not have to worry and they're not really big so I get the motion down without clanking them into each other now that I have a little bit more freedom in the park I, I have been working with these the 32 inch so just practicing with those and I am at the start of five weeks so I am allowed to take this off and do my neck rotations around and around, around and around. And you just do that for like five minutes each. And then um, the figure eights where you kind of look like Stevie Wonder. 
And then um, I have been practicing just trying to take my neck very gently to the side or just lay down and go to the side. That will help free up some of that where when you first get out of the card collar, you feel like you still can't move your neck. So you have to loosen up these muscles right here, whether you're laying on the ground and you're just trying to stretch out your back and reach up. I hope you can see me because I can't tell. Let's move out. And just stretch out and rotate those shoulder blades into the floor and, and maybe turn just the waist side to side. And then arms out. You've got to work out those muscles. You have to stretch them out. They've been in a collar for at least a month now. And then just reach up, take your arms and then hold on to like right hand on your left elbow and turn back and forth and try and work out the knots that way. Some people will use a tennis ball and put it under the back. I have one myself, it works wonderfully. I'll lay on the floor and wherever I feel a huge freaking knot, I'll just put the tennis ball right there and just kind of release my, you know, lay down and lay, like, lay on it and keep the tennis ball on there until the knot kind of lets loose. Sometimes it just gets sore and tight and I say, okay, maybe enough's enough, just work with it or use the back massager or something like that. Um, another thing I've been doing is, I cannot do all of these exercises every day that they gave me. There are six on this side with the bands and there are six on this side with the bands. But it says that you're only supposed to do um, um, three sets, 10 repetitions once every other day. But I hoop, I drag and staff, so as far as the exercise bands go, I do do all six exercises, and if someone needs to see that, that's fine. But basically, it's taking the arm from here to here, here to here. And then the next one is just taking the arm back, like that. The other one is turning around. Probably should put the paper down and taking your hand from like this side position into a punch position and you do that with each arm and you hold it for so many seconds um, 10 repetitions every other day now if this is the, if this is the only thing you're doing what I found is that really overdoes it for me and I'm so tense that when I hula hoop or I want to dragon staff I can't and I think more motion is allowing me more motion than just standing there doing this. I need to move. So, I will grab the dragon staffs. At first, my first two weeks, I couldn't do anything with the dragon staff because everything through my shoulder blades all the way up my neck were so tight and so stiff that just even this aggravated it. Now, I'm on week five. I would say uh, week three, I did a couple of chi rolls. Week four, I actually, um, besides doing just the, your regular chi rolls, um, week four, I actually attempted going down the arm and back up and around on my back, away from my neck, and out. That really seemed to help um, loosen some of that up, but there were times to where I could only maybe do a song, maybe two, with the dragon staff. So that was kind of iffy to judge. The hula hoop's been my buddy, but the dragon staff's been hard to judge because it really does take a lot of movement and motion. Take this off. I've been working with my lighter dragon staff, my LED one, but when I take it to a park, I take all the LED stuff off and put the spiral dragons on, just in case it gets wet. And it's so light, it's not as heavy as the dark monk, and it does, the EPDM doesn't leave any black marks on my body, so 
This one's been my friend with just getting the movement down without the added extra weight. Although I need that weight because I want to be able to burn fire. But just the basic chi roll helps. And if you don't dragon staff, who cares? You can do this with the bands. You can get the same kind of motion with the bands, but without the pulling. So then you can just, you know, start. Don't go over the scarf. You have one on the back of your neck. But just the basic movements help. Can be tricky. Uh, like I said, I just started week five today, so this has only really been week four. Um, I, it took me a month to be able to really truly have any fun with the dragon staff whatsoever. It's pretty much been hooping or uh, exercise bands or just basic yoga poses. Um, working with different hula hoops to work different parts of my body and just keep moving as I have lower back problems, so I definitely don't want that to stiffen up on me. Starting out with just a, a little tiny two pound weight. Now I have bigger ones, five pounds, 10 pounds, but just starting off with the weights without the pulling of really hard bands. If you do get bands, I'd suggest like ones that are not as resistant as mine, but just doing the same moves with little weights and work your way up just doing those basic moves. Um, definitely do not do push-ups. Not in the cards right now. Not until you're completely loose back here. Now I have been working on moving my head from side to side. I can almost make it, almost make it to my shoulder. I'm kind of like right here right now. So... I don't know if that would be uh, 90 degrees. Oh, pushing it a little bit. I would say about 70 degrees um, with a little bit of trouble in there. My hooping journey, just so you guys can understand, I started out with very large hoops and I've been trying to work my way down to my favorite which is my, this is round about a, I'd say like 34 inch hoop. I love my 34 inch hoop I made. I started out with this, it was my most awesome hoop, but I couldn't do many tricks with it because it was just too tiny. But I could do your basic, you know, that kind of stuff, breaks, uh, knee hooping, but not getting it up. So my goal, up to my fifth month was to make it down to a 34. I've only made it down to a 36. But over the course of the last five weeks, I went from my big hoop down to my Raspberry Poly Pro, down to my 36 inch mood hoop. And I have now started playing with the 34. And I'm doing much better with it. I'm getting a lot more movement. Um, just recently, because you don't really need to move your, I'm loose through here right now, it still hurts, I'm not gonna lie, it hurts, so I can only do very little at a time, but I can chest hoop again. It's just not great because it's still awkward, but I can chest hoop again. I have a little bit of trouble going from the waist up sometimes, but I can get there. It's just something I don't want to do a lot because even though it's a slight movement, it's enough it just jostles that titanium plate they have back there with the screws from the fusion. So you're just going to want to stick to your basics until you can actually tolerate doing more and moving more. Um, I do a lot of just around the body a lot of that to loosen it up. Going over the head to stretch out the arms and the shoulder blades. Going up. I have to grab a different hoop for the... Maybe not.
just doing the practicing the mandalas this one is pretty hard the isolations for me were real hard on this area so I can do them now with a lighter hoop the heavier hoops kill me but I can do the isolations I can th those are really good for once you're finally loose to build up that muscle strength because you have to hold your arm out and you have to bring it around around so that's going to work that area and then you just do it with your I'm not great with my left hand like I said I've only been doing these for this last week and only with the smaller hoops um, if those start making you tight stop maybe try them again in a couple of days when you're a little looser and you feel like you can you can practice them again um, the clover has been really good with the arm rotations and just loosening that up um, other things is just the hand spins and working on bringing those around And if you can't go that way, then, then go the other way. I'm not looking to do a clover. I'm just kind of spinning it on my hand and trying to get the, the arm rotation down. And, and the front is, is good. It's, um, it's going to be kind of more personal, whether it feels more comfortable doing these things um, in the front plane or the side plane. For me, side plane is kind of hard because I still have all that tension, but I'm finally starting to get it back. So that's where I am right now with hooping. I do my exercises um, with the exercise bands. Not all 12 of them. I'll do like, I'll split it up. I'll do three or four one day, and then I'll go hoop for an hour um, or more. Sometimes I'll just walk. I sit on my exercise ball. This week, I want to try and incorporate a little bit more yoga. I think I'm at that point to where I can do some of those stretches without hurting myself. Um, anything that's really complicated, like when you are laying down, you're in cat, and you take this opposite hand under the other arm and lay down. I think that that would be good to stretch out that, but I'm going to have to be really careful with the neck. Um, so I might not be able to do that fully, but we'll give it a shot. I definitely need to get a little bit more mobility together and a little less muscle tension before I can even think about going to work because just doing four hours of activity a day, and that usually includes at least an hour of walking, um, if not more, at least an hour of walking of some sort, about an hour, maybe two of hula hooping, um, about three and then a little bit of dragon staff not a lot because that's still hard on me but um i'd say maybe a half hour 15 minutes to an hour of dragon staff and then just trying to relax for the next four hours and going back to maybe doing something even if it's a night walk or if it's just the neck exercises this way that's fine because I'm trying to build up my muscles. I don't want to overexert them and strain them out again because then they'll just get tight again. So I'm slowly working my way up to being able to have some kind of weight without it hurting. Um, another thing for us females is the bra. I obviously work 12 hour shifts. So one of the things I've noticed is wearing a bra really hurts. So I had to work up my time. Like at week two, I tried to wear it for an hour or two a day. And then uh, the week two or three, I meant. And then week four, I was trying to wear it for four hours or more a day. And now I am on week five, the very first day of week five. And I have managed to keep my bra on for six to eight hours but then after that I'm ripping it off because it just just the pressure on your shoulders and around your back it just makes you very tight I don't know why I tried different bras it's something about this 
being on this muscle right here. Um, and that's both sides, but more on the left where they had to remove the lump in the back, not just replace the discs through the front. Um, a lot of stretching like this, just trying to loosen those muscles up. And all I'm doing is I'm on my knees, you can be in front of the TV, commercial break or watching a movie, and just try and stretch. If that's too much, then just do a little stretch for the lower back. You can do, these really help. Um, I also do the, it's on, it's on uh, YouTube, the uh, bedtime stretches, and I have that yoga bedtime stretches saved in a playlist somewhere but you just put your foot and then you just you can grab your knee and turn with your hand behind you and same thing other side it's not this quick but just kind of breathe through it relax try and keep your torso up and just and then once you get better then you can start doing these just to loosen that up but if that starts hurting right through here stop um i am not a medical professional i am not a doctor i'm not a physical therapist i'm just somebody who had um the acdf surgery with a little bit of extra surgery in the back of the neck for uh, extra bone growth but um i was asked what things i do to get to where I am right now because I, I guess I'm doing really good right now. Um, I have a lot of healing inside the do that the doctor explained to me just because I'm doing better doesn't mean I'm doing fully better. I can't like, you know, do a whole shift yet. And I can't wait to go back to work. Um, what else? Eating Lots of soups in the beginning, lots of soft stuff, and then pretty much after week two, once you hit about week three, you're, you can eat anything. You might have a funny feeling in your throat, especially when you're doing like yoga poses, and you go to even just stretch your back out by hanging over. You can feel that plate in your throat. It's an odd feeling. It doesn't stop your breathing. It doesn't alter your eating in any way. You can still swallow. Um, it's just a weird feeling in there. You could, it almost feels like something's in there, but I, I'd say I can't explain it. It's just an odd feeling. It almost feels like something's stuck in your throat, but there's nothing stuck in your throat. Um, lots of stretching, lots of relaxing, lots of just gentle, gentle, gentle stretching. We're talking about those, if you're looking up yoga videos, those 40 plus yoga videos where it's just very gentle, very slow, very, you know, just stretching out those muscles. You know, that's, that's pretty much it. It's, that's the name of the game. Get those muscles to loosen up. Still stay active. Don't overdo it. Push it a little bit, but not very much more. Um... You don't want to rip or tear or mess anything up. So I am going to put my neck brace on, and um, that's about it. I Diet-wise, I mean, I eat like any other regular person. I tend to be more Mediterranean slash fruits and veggies person. I'm not at Burger King every single night. I don't eat healthy all the time. Sometimes we have Burger King. Sometimes we have Moe's. Sometimes we have salads. Sometimes... You know, it just depends. But I always have fruits and vegetables in the house. That's really important. And I like the green goodness juices. Um, those are really good for me anyway. Have your hubby drive you to the mall and go to the, I forget what it's called, Fresh Cafe and get, you know, one of their kale and pineapple smoothies or one of those um, SIE smoothies you know with all the superfoods in it um keep your vitamins up keep your body moving um just keep keep going and then relax when you need to otherwise it's and i already played today i went out to the park and played so i am sore right now um that's it beginning of week five and i will 
maybe post a hoop video. Who knows? I'm just working on getting better at this point. I hope that helps. I hope that answers your questions.